I was watching the war with my family when it first started and thinking, well, someone, someone needs to do something. And then when the uh, children's hospital at Mariupol got shelled, I realized someone is me. Well, my wife was already a soldier, so she, and she's very religious, so she uh, understood the idea of moral duty. My, uh, my daughter took it hard. Um, she didn't want to say goodbye to me um, when it happened. Uh, but I, I, I would like to believe she's proud of what I'm doing, and I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to winning this so I can go back and hug her. From the first, first day, uh, watched the build-up. Uh, my girlfriend was away at the time, so for the four days after I was waiting for her to get home, I just, uh, I didn't sleep and I was angry. I, was, I just felt a pull towards having to come here. Like, I, I think it's the right thing to do. I think more people, more of the world should be here. Um, quite often, I would say at least once a week. Sometimes we go quiet for a couple of weeks, but they, uh, they know that I'm good. I've told them that if I was to die, then they'd find out very quickly. So a couple of weeks here and there is fine. Uh, I understood that uh, at this moment, uh, with what was going to happen in this country with the war, that uh, my friends and uh, other Ukrainians and I would be on different paths. Um, that um, if I wanted to stay a part of that world, if I wanted to stay with them, I would have to fight with them as well. I've come pretty close to death a, a number of times, so we, we can't not think about death. It's, it's impossible not to. I, I've had mortars that would have hit me, but they hit trees instead. We, we've talked about what would happen if we're tortured, but it, it doesn't change your sense of moral duty. Whatever happens to us, that doesn't change anything. We still need to be here because it's the right thing to do. Crane really needs is artil uh, artillery, rocket, uh, long-range artillery, uh, high Mars systems. My friends were being shot with tanks and artillery, and the reason we survived that ambush is because we were able to call in a strike from a donated M777, which is an American artillery piece. Um, literally, that saved my life and the life of my friends. So please, like, you know, if you just everywhere, all of them, send them here. We need them. Every, every, every Ukrainian I've met is incredibly skilled, dedicated, and also seemingly a little bit crazy <laughs> in a brave way. The, the troops on the ground are bloody brilliant. They're great. Keep supplying, with, supplying them with what they need and they will get the job done.